Hi, I'm Andrew. Welcome back to Runiverse. And in this video, I'm going to kick off a series where I'm going to open Runiverse booster packs, one for each of the eight facets. And doing random pairings, I'm going to have a single elimination tournament for these packs. And you'll get to follow along as I open the packs, talk about the cards, and then play through the battles. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, I've got one pack for each of the eight facets. So let's get started by choosing our first matchup. And today we'll open those two packs. So I'm going to roll this eight-sided die. I got an eight, so that will be Thist and a five, which will be Emery. All right, so we're going to have Emery versus Thist as our first matchup. And let's take a look at what we've got in these two packs. I've been sitting on these for a little while now, and actually some of the cards have been updated, so there's a chance that we could hit some cards that are not completely up to date, but I'll just keep you updated of those as we hit them. So, let's tear into this and see what we've got. First card is Thievocation. And this is one of our three rares from the pack. And this is a secret ritual that lets you take control of a creature. I'm excited to see how this one plays out in our tournament. Uh, we got a Ruby Uncommon here, the Flame Tusk Boar. It's a pretty strong effect. It can potentially dispel a creature when it comes in. And here's a Star Variant Eternity Orb. It lets you dream cards regularly throughout the game. Very cool. A Star Variant Common, the Pupil of the Storms, makes your opponent discard a card as a level 2 creature. Oh, we got a Trap. That's very good. The Piranoia that can basically jump in the way of an attack unexpectedly. Pupil of the Unbound, level 1 Common that can attack anywhere. A Rare, Polka Tutagast. Uh, it's a level 4, but it functions as a level 8, just with a couple of restrictions. So this is a kind of a cool big ghost creature. We have the Uncommon Spell Sprite, which gets powered up when you evoke spells. So that's pretty cool. It can become very resilient. The Unbound Wyvern, level 3 that can attack anywhere. We have the Common Ruby Kittle creature. It's a level 1, but it attacks as a level 3. Ooh, we have the Small Poltergeist, Gas, the level 1 Common, but it functions as a level 2 with the same restrictions. Imagination Moat will let us reset our our dream counter which is cool this is actually one of the cards that's been updated but only in a very minor way it says dream token it should say dream counter but it's basically the same effect Ooh, this is a fun rare i'm excited to see how this one plays out too this is a, looking to be a very thisty pack which makes sense considering it is a this pack but uh it's playing on a lot of the the dream stuff and and cool effects that this tends to do so uh, this lets you dream potentially multiple cards and we got the full set of the Phantasmal creatures. So this is the Uncommon Level 2 that functions as a Level 4. So we got the Common, the Uncommon, and the Rare in this. And two copies of Alagast. Very neat. Uh, the Storm Feven is Level 1 Common that can suck away some of your opponent's power. An Ember Boar, a little ruby creature that can attack for 2 as a heat. And another Imagination Mote to dream some more. I'm um, looking forward to see how this deck plays out. So the way these will work is they basically just have to shuffle the contents of this pack with the basic mages from Thist uh, that I got in the starter deck, and that'll be a deck. So And combine that, just use a basic dream deck. So that'll be the format of this tournament. So let's see what is in the Emery pack. All right, first card. Oh, wow. Star Variant Rare right off the bat. We have Banasum. That's pretty cool. So it's got Chlor Bunny Evolve, which means if you've got any Chlor Bunnies, that would be great. Uh, cause it can gain Vim and extra abilities and reduce costs and everything. And it has Roaming, which means, uh, it can move around between the mages. And the Chlorophilanthropy ability gives bonuses to all of its allies based on how much Vim this has. So if it got to evolve, that'll be some Vim that's built in. And your creatures can all get Ward, which protects them from being targeted. Uh, Relentless, which lets them attack multiple times, and Strength 2, which could make them really a big team. So this would be awesome if we get to use this. Dismiss, that's coincidental. This is actually today's cart of the day as I'm recording, so that's pretty neat. And uh, this is a little trap that can return the attacking creature to its owner's hand, make them attack again. This is one of my favorite cards based on art, although I'm, we'll see how well it plays out, because it might be better for Constructed than in this format. But it basically lets all your mages make 
extra power once you're able to evoke it. You have a star variant egg with horns. Very cool. So there's a little level one you can play on the first turn. And then it just starts growing over the course of the game. So it can get up to level two, three, four, or even higher by the time the game ends. Very basic level two boorish, but its strength two ability means it is a level four. Cedar size gives vim to a creature and gives it a level plus two. Egg, was, egg of Boundless Unity is a level 0, but it's uh, level 1 as long as it has any allies, which is uh, pretty neat. It's basically a free level 1. We got Fill Kit, which is interesting because this is the basic form of the Bonossum. So the middle form is the Clore Bunny. So it'd be awesome if we get a Clore Bunny in this pack and actually have the full evolution chain. Uh, but this Fill Kit, all it does is it has evolution lore, which is before I evolve, draw a card. And so if it does get to evolve, you get to draw replacement cards, which is really cool. And then if it does evolve into Clore Bunny, then the Clore Bunny keeps that ability. And then if we evolve Clore Bunny into Banasum, then we still will get to draw another card from that evolution lore ability, which the Clore Bunny would still have. So I would love to see a Clore Bunny show up in this pack, but it's not super likely, but it'd be really cool. We got a Vigilant Wildlight, which I think is the first Wildlight of this pack. Wildlights evolve from each other, and so they tend to work well together, but they can work fine on their own. Ooh, a star variant, Rose Knight. It's a really strong, uncommon card. So I'm excited to see this uh, get to do something cool. Star variant, Loquacious Mandrake. Draws a card if it's evoked by a plant mage. Another Loquacious Mandrake. So we'll have uh, plenty of cards, hopefully. Ooh, and the rare Suidum. This is a level 3, but it has strength 3, making it function as a level 6. So this is the rare version of that uh, boar we saw earlier, but this is the rare version. It's only 3 cost for level 6. The Deadly Scorpions, and a basic, very basic uncommon uh, from Sphine. It's level 1, but it's deadly, so any amount of damage it deals to a creature is enough to dispel that creature. Rhinoceros, very basic uncommon for Emery. You've got an Insect Cloud, a task and opposing creature. Uh, it has an extra clause that won't really apply since we're playing an Emery deck. We got a Cactus Dancer, which is also deadly, but this one's a level 2. And finally, a Spider, which is a level 1 Deft Creature, which means if it attacks something uh, that is only uh, equal to or smaller than a Spider, it won't take any damage in return. So we did not get the full Bonossum Evolution Chain, but hopefully the Bonossum will be able to do something on its own. Unfortunately, that Phil Kit's ability, Evolution Lore, will never be able to trigger with this deck. So you could definitely do Constructed later on. But for now, this will be the mat first matchup that we're looking at here. So, you know, put in the comments which deck you think looks better, which one you think is going to win, and stay tuned for the battle and for the next pairings.